Hey guys and welcome to the Hackinons YouTube channel. We will see how to obtain input from a user until they give a valid response in Python. So let's try to understand this problem statement where we need to create a function or a set of code that can input a username of a blog or an account and there are certain conditions that need to be filled. For example, the username needs to be specified in lowercase and it cannot be specified in uppercase as well as its size must be greater than 5 and less than 10. Which means we want to create a set of validations for our user. So first thing what I'll do is I'll create a condition that continues for an infinite amount of time. So for that I will say while through. So basically I'm saying while through which means while certain condition exists for an infinite amount of time. First we will create a input field. So for that I'll use the input function and inside that I will specify please input your username. And now what I will do is I will validate the first case that says greater than 5 and less than 10. So for that to check the size of the input given by the user I'll use the len function present. So what I'll say is if len of username is, is less than 5 or the length of the username given by the user that is username is greater than 5 it is not a valid input okay so for that I will have to print some statement to the user saying that it's an invalid input so I'll create a print statement and say sorry invalid input so it's So this works perfect and now what we will do is we will create a certain break statement else we will break out of the loop which means everything works perfect and hence the case was executed. So now let me just run this code and it asks me on the right side of the screen please input your username so I'll just create an input saying that Carl and I'll keep its length less than 5 to check what happens and it says sorry invalid input please input your username so now let me increase my length of my username and now the program executes perfect so this was one quick case that we created and the next case that we need to see is if there is any uppercase inside the letters that we have written so for that we can obviously create a list of all the uppercase letters but let's try to do it in a more pythonic method. So I'll use something called as an import string which is a module present in python that has got all the type of strings that can be inputted. So for that I will create a variable called upper and now I will use the string library and as you can see we're getting a set of options. So I'll keep scrolling down scrolling down and I'll choose this one as string dot ascii uppercase so basically all the possible uppercase letters will get print saved inside this variable upper and let me show you how does it look so i'll just print upper u p p e r and let me just press f5 and run the code so you can see all the 26 alphabets are printed in uppercase format so what i'll say is now for character in username so basically we will check every character and I'll say is if char in upper which means if the character is present in the upper variable that is all the variable comprising of the capital letters then I'll print a statement saying that no uppercase. So let me just run this code and check what happens. And it's saying, please input your username. Sorry, invalid input. So I did not just type down anything, but let me type in a capital letter. And it's saying, sorry, invalid input. And it's saying, no uppercase, no uppercase, no uppercase. 
so things good look good but there is a small issue so we have to change that and then we will come to executing this part of code so first thing what happens is as you can see it's saying sorry invalid input because as we are obtaining at this point we are not creating a continuous statement to continue the next part of the code since there was a validation error so once this point is reached this if condition is reached we simply need to continue so it will go to the next iteration and ask the user for an input and then we, what are we doing is we are checking if a character is present in upper and if it is present we will say no uppercase letters and as soon as that happens we will continue so it will simply go to the next iteration okay so let me run this and now it's saying please input your username so i'll input capital letters c a r l a and it's giving the same issue so it's saying no uppercase no uppercase no uppercase but this time it did not say no invalid input so instead of printing the statement no uppercase we will print it outside the for loop so for that i'll create something called as a flag and i'll save the flag as and i'll save the flag as false and what we'll check is if the character is in upper we will simply make the flag to true and now we will break out of the loop okay so i'll simply press break and now i will say if flag is equal to true then i will print the statement saying that sorry no capital letters and let's try and run it now it asks please input your username so i'll give a username and i'll even give a capital letter and now it says sorry no cap capital letters and that happens only once and it again asks me for my input okay so things work really good and let's not forget to write the continuous statement right here to avoid errors in our code and now we have completed everything and now the only thing left is to break out of this while loop that we have created okay so for that we will again make use of this flag and what we'll check is if the flag is true then we have to obviously continue else we will simply break out of the loop okay and before breaking i will simply print a statement saying that username save so now let's run this code and check if everything works great as we expected so i'll input a username carl and 76 so it's all lower case letters as well as its length is greater than 5 and less than 10 so if i run this option it should not give me any errors as you can see it says username saved so that's it from this video where we learned how to gain valid input from a user you can make use of this example in your code and projects to improve the working of your programs if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the akinons youtube channel for more fun and interesting videos